previous video I showed you how to build this uh, project management finances dashboard. I have made some changes and I just wanted to walk you through those changes quickly. And uh, if you want to build the dashboard really from scratch, uh, if you could check the other video, I have every reference of how I build those charts, the exact colors that I've been using and the likes. And um, for this uh, video, I will be just focusing uh, only on the changes and actually that would uh, show you how it works maybe more precisely than the other uh, videos. So let's have a look. So the first thing I have a basic settings tab here where I show where you can decide the starting month and the starting year. Uh, so here we go. So this will be where you uh, input your budget later on. So uh, nothing prevents you from using weeks instead. But if you want to use months, it's all automated. If you want to use weeks, you can just put your weeks here at the top. So 12 period it will be 12 weeks. Uh, but for the decimal, let's just stick with the basis, which is the monthly budget. So if you start in May 2024, uh, then you, you will finish over there in April 2025. No, surpri no surprise there. OK, so the, the other two things that are allow as uh, parameters are the, the budget types. Um, I usually like to split my budget into two parts, the, the fixed price and the time and material. The fixed price is usually more predictable. That's your idea of fixed price. <laughs> And uh, the other component is time and material. And I have also a short name uh, for those two. Uh, those parts here are calculated. So you can change it if you don't like it, if maybe you only have time and material on yours and the like. So you can uh, change it at will. Uh, but please put also a short because that will be used for a lot of things down the track. Now, if we go directly in a budget. Now, in the budget, there is uh, a few components here. Uh, first of all, it is a reminder that everything that is in yellowish like this is to be input. Uh, to make it simple, don't don't try and input things in the blue things here. Uh, it's all in the yellowish. Same for the settings. It's all only in the yellowish uh, that you can input something. Now, uh, what do we have here? So there's a sh there's a, my two components here are back, fixed brass and time, uh, time and material. So if you've changed, and obviously this will change, this will bring it back here. And here you need to have, a free, well, you don't need to, you can have up to three uh, subcategories, I would say, between the, the fixed price component here. I'm just going to call it fixed price for the moment. So the short name that I've given here is FP1, FP2, FP3. And it has to be short for the dashboard once again. And then you, here you can put your long name for fixed price. Where could we have? It could be material, uh, software. Uh, it could be anything, you know, rental of premises, anything that is fixed. If you want to know the difference between fixed price and time and material, I will put a link on the video where I think I have a video on this, so I will put you a, a link in the video. So this is pretty much it. Once you've uh, uh, set, uh, split your budget in two, uh, you can start imp inputting the budget for 12 months, up to 12 months, or you can even put less. And this is the difference I have with the other budget, the other budget, I, I, I gave you the possibility to change the budget to have more than 12 months, but I would make, that was making things a little bit more uh, confusing. So here I'm just keeping it simple. If you have more than 12 months, obviously, you know what to do. You just report the budget here. OK, um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you have your two components here. If you have a super simple project with only one type of budget, let's say you have only one contractor here, you just discard all this and you just discard all that and you just keep one line here. OK, well, no surprise for the rest. Uh, every month, uh, you don't worry about this blue, th those are the calculations. Every month, you just put your estimate. Chook, 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 chook. Obviously, you can have gap, you can re uh, remove one. And the like. So in this case, it's not a pretty sight but because it's uh, automated after this, but uh, you get the idea. So this is what you do for your budget here. Uh, actually, this should be uh, more merged and centered. OK, now what else? What else? What else? Uh, actuals. OK, so before we go into the actuals, uh, on the dashboard here, you you see where the budget I've just input it in a plant. That's another word for budget. You have the total here. You have this blue line here for the budget, and everything that is blue more or less is uh, the budget uh, showing on this. Now, 
once you've put all your budget month by month, and just to give you an example here, I've just done it for 10 months as opposed to a 12 month budget. So I've put all my actuals here every week. You just put your actual, so uh, go for it. As, as I was saying before, if you don't have uh, the six component, just put whatever you have as a component here and you just populate here. Don't worry about all the rest. It's, it's true for the charts. All the rest that I have here is for the chart. So it's actually quite simple. Once you've set up your, your budget tabs, you just come here, you input your uh, budget annuals. Now, if obviously, if you need more than six lines, you need, you need to consolidate all this and just put it here. So here, the idea of dashboard is usually you don't go into too much details. So once it's all this, this comes back here. So this is where I have here. I, this is where I've asked you to put short names here. So I have my FP1, FP2, FP3. I have this here. And all my actuals are being reported here. So this way you can have a look. If there's a problem, you can have a look directly on here. You don't have to go through tabs. And uh, OK, so the first thing that you noticed in, a, in this table first is that there are some components that are highlighted in blue. So what the, does that mean? <laughs> well, what it means is that you're over budget on a very component, a TM2. Um, I'm just gonna gonna demonstrate that to you. TM2 here. What did we have? TM2 uh, for the first month, uh, we had a budget of one thousand. And let's see, TM2. How much did we spend? Fourteen hundred. So it works we are above budget here for TM2. Um, and then that's it. That's pretty much it for the whole component here. There's plenty of uh, over budget here, plenty of over budget here. So that gives you a quick overview on the table. And here, no surprise, you put uh, the total uh, actuals, the budget and the, and the variance, which is the difference between the, the budget and the actuals. And you have two months available here that will fill up as we progress. Okay, now it's time to maybe walk uh, f you through around uh, the, the dashboard, which I think is quite uh, uh, self-explanatory, but let's have a look anyway. So as mentioned, the, the, this blue and purple part is the budget. Um, the, this yellow to pink is the actual. So this would be, I suppose, the, the, the overall trend. Here you have the actual. So if you notice the last two months go flat because we haven't uh, done this yet. So we have, uh, we are overall under budget here. And the yellow still consistent with colors. Now this is the overall spend, the overall uh, month by month. So you can see that uh, most of the time we've been under budget overall, despite those, uh, we have been uh, over budget. And, and here we have been under, uh, sorry, we here under budget here and here over budget for those two here over budget here too and that's the thing i mean uh, if you if you do some uh, earned value you you might uh, realize that it's all uh, a bit fluffy but i'm just not talking about earned value here if you want to know more about earned value uh, i could put you the link in the video as well and then you have the 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 last, the last two months here uh, overall spent i spent 73 percent of my budget so far so that's a variance. You you can see that for a fixed price, uh, I have a, a, a negative variance, but for all the rest, I have a positive variance. So here, that's because of this uh, that I have a, a negative. And actually, FP12 is negative, but not by much. Uh, and this is the same as above, but with fixed price, with the second part of the budget, or the first part of the budget. Uh, exactly the same and you can see specifically it's very quick to to see which part of the budget is, is causing problem when you are over budget with this system here um, and uh, how many how many of the fixed price budgets we have spent so as you can see here we spend more of the fixed price than we have a time and material it'll be uh, for me it will be a bit of a warning sign fixed price as mentioned more predictable software hardware stuff like that but time and material um you know they haven't spent enough yet in my view i would i would be wondering why uh, sometimes that probably means that they have people delayed uh, people that couldn't work or the like so that means they were probably late uh, for for the work 
unless everybody's worked faster than planned, we, <laughs> which doesn't happen that much. But anyway, if you have earned value in parallel, uh, you can work on this. If we uh, go uh, clockwise to the project variance here, so this is a key component, uh, the project variance 20,000, which we see here too, total budget and actual is uh, 57. So I'm, I'm not going to label the earned value point, but this is something to bear in mind. For the moment, so far so good. We still have two months though, bear that in mind. Uh, we're still above budget. And this is the vari variance here, obviously, yes, we haven't spent anything in actuals here. This is, this is going to be high, but this uh, gives you the overall uh, variance month by month, which I think can be useful to And here we are back to the annuals and the planned, the actual, sorry, and the planned. So that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have this uh, template, obviously, there is some uh, instructions here. There's a guide and uh, the dashboard, the budget here, the settings. Um, there's a tab here with validation, which is to validate the month and year. So you have until 2035. And when you reach 2035, I'm talking to our future self here. Uh, you can change all this and put more even if you if you want. OK, uh, so where did I have this? I yeah, just want to show you the 2024. So this is where all the years that you have that you can take whichever year you like. OK, well, that's was for a quick how much 11 minutes uh, walk around this uh, template. Uh, if you want to really build it from scratch, you should really have a look at my first video where I show you how to select colors, how to build the charts and the likes. And then you can come back to this one. And if you want this version, you can make the change. It's just a matter of change the, the charts around and I've uh, removed the, the over via the budget variation. And I think that's another type of a budget here which uh, could be confusing but could be useful as well so uh, you might prefer the previous version or you might uh, decide to go with this one so i'm leaving you with this i hope uh, you find it uh, hopeful and uh, if you try to build it just let me know how, how you go